right now we go to Dean Reuter, and Dean Reuter is a uh, author of The Hidden Nazi, The Untold Story of America's Deal with the Devil. He's a general counsel of the Federalist Society for Law and Public Policy and a fellow of the National Security Institute at George Mason University's Antonin Scalia Law School, and he joins us here this morning. Good morning, Dean. How are you? I'm great. Good to be with you, Gary. Dean, an honor to have you with us this morning. Uh, I, you know, you've got so much here. I wish we had like two hours instead of like nine minutes. But nevertheless, uh, you know, one of the things that we were talking about, we're, we're in a war right now, obviously, against the COVID virus. And, you know, we're, we're thinking about victory in Europe Day coming up on Friday uh, from World War II. And, and you've dealt with some of those things. How, how is how is this battle against learn from the victory in Europe uh, during World War II that we could apply to now? Well, I think the greatest victory uh, uh, in Europe is the triumph of good over evil. And, you know, the lines aren't that clearly defined here, good versus evil, but uh, the, the notion of triumphing over, over something, uh, you know, we can do anything as Americans that we can get this done. Uh, we survived World War II, the most cataclysmic uh, human uh, undertaking in the history of, of mankind. We can survive this. Uh, that's one lesson to take away. I wanted to talk a little bit about your book this morning, The Hidden Nazi, The Untold Story of America's Deal with the Devil. And you talk in there particularly about uh, an SS Nazi general whose name was Hans Kemmler. Uh, and you said the worst Nazi you've never heard of. Tell people a little bit about the book and, and some of the points in there, because I, I've been a guy who's followed this for a long time. I was a history teacher for 25 years before I started doing this 23 years ago. And and i got to tell you, I, I've, I've been interested in, uh, concentration camps, death camps, uh, and still can't believe that we would do that to fellow human beings. But uh, get into what your book's about here and uh, this guy, Hans Kammler. Well, it begins with uh, the life of Hans Kammler, who was an architect and an engineer, but then quickly into the Holocaust because Kammler himself was integral to the Holocaust and making it work as efficiently as it did. He's the guy who identified Auschwitz as the main killing camp, and then he built camp as an architect, and he installed the gas chambers and the ovens, and then he duplicated his work everywhere throughout the Reich, building all of the concentration camps that didn't already exist in the new territory, as Germany uh, conquered territory. Uh, But from there, he went on to rule all of Germany's secret weapons, including the vengeance weapons, these uh, supersonic V-2 rocket that was so highly advanced, nobody thought it could be built until uh, the end of the war when we really discovered it actually existed. There was this mad, How? Scramble, for, mad scramble for these rocket scientists. Right. Everybody, conventional history thinks that we got them sort of by accident or by good fortune, but what, what you show in the book, the hidden Nazi, Hans Kammler actually handed them over to the United States Army um, in a bid to save his life, to sort of erase his Holocaust past. So this was the deal with the devil part. Exactly. That's exactly yeah. right. Kamler is Kamler's both the hidden Nazi and the devil, and, and we struck a deal with him uh, that's been covered up by, uh, by the players for 75 years now. Yeah, so one of the most prolific mass murderers in history escapes justice because he makes a deal with the United States and turns over these people. I guess Willie Von Braun, people like that, or not Willie Von Braun, whom I think you know, the guy who helped to do the nuclear weapon, Ava, yeah, but, uh, uh, you know, these kind of guys were, were there in Germany. A lot of people think, well, they just they escaped and they came here and decided to be good guys, and that was not the case at all here from what you're telling us. Well, von Braun was the key rocket scientist that Hans Kammler delivered, and he did come here, became right. an American hero, helped us get to the moon, helped us build an ICBM. Uh, but we, we have a chapter in the book about von Braun as well, showing that he knew a lot more about the use of slave labor and participated wow. in it than, than was previously thought. So even von Braun comes out tainted in this book. But the real story is about the discovery of, of the true uh, the true story of Hans Kammler. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you look at these people, and, and Werner von Braun was a guy whose name I was trying to say. I said Willie von Braun. I don't know where that came from. But anyway... <laughs> um, why Why has the world forgotten about this guy? I mean, uh, he was declared dead after the war, but you talk about an aide in there who testified to his supposed suicide, never produced his dog tags or any other proof of death, right? Yeah, I think it was because it was such a mad scramble, Gary, at the end of the war. There were so many people involved, so many people to pursue, 
Um, and there was this cover-up. I mean, he he was uh, adjudicated dead by a German court. And nobody went. We went um, looking to the Mossad, uh, to the U.S. Department of right. Justice, to the Wiesenthal Center. They all said, "No, we we never pursued Kamler. He was dead." Uh, and when we talked to those folks, you know, uh, just a few years ago, they still thought Kamler was dead. Um, because they, they had no reason to question that. Uh, so he had not only escaped uh, justice, he escaped history as well, until now, until the hidden Nazi. You also talk in the book about kind of an astonishing discovery about this guy, Hans Kammler. And again, this is the guy that, that planned Auschwitz, that, that helped to plan it for other camps as well, expanded to 250,000 people could be there in the Auschwitz camp. But you found an amazing discovery here about the fact that U.S. documents proved that Hans Kammler was actually in our custody for months after war, well after he was declared as dead, right? That, that's the astonishing part, absolutely. He didn't commit suicide. He surrendered to the U.S. Army. We had him in custody for at least 10 months, uh, and then the paper trail really does uh, run dry. But the last thing we have in the paper trail is an extradition request from Great Britain saying, hey, we want Kamler, we want a trial. Um, this guy the paper was... trail really just evaporates. We never see Kamler's name show up in the Nuremberg trials, which a lot of people have read about or seen on various movies and so forth. Um, did he cooperate at any point in time with some of the Nuremberg prosecutors who were investigating the Nazi war crimes? Or, you know, what happened? Do we have anything at we, all on that? We think we think he did. You know, we know he was, as I said, he was in custody. Um, he, he was being interrogated in Austria and then in central Germany with regard to rocket scientists. And then we think we can place him in Nuremberg on the eve of the trials. Um, and because he wasn't a defendant, because he was a wanted war criminal at the time, um, yeah. uh, he had to have been cooperating with the prosecutors if he was there and he didn't get tried. Dean, this is, sounds like an amazing book. I hope people are going to pick it up. It is absolutely, uh, and, and I will be grabbing it myself, uh, the, the Hidden Nazi, The Untold Story of America's Deal with the Devil, and a story here of Hans Kammler, a Nazi general, an SS guy, uh, who you may have never heard of and you will hear of after this story. Where can people pick this up, Dean? Because I'm sure there's people going to rush out and grab this right away. When the bookstore's open, you can get it there. But right now you can get it on Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble online. Any place you can buy books, you can find this book. And it's in all the different forms. It's uh, hardback, audible, um, Kindle. So you can you don't even have to leave your house to get it. There you go. And you can go to facebook.com slash Dean Reuter Books. Uh, and you can also hit him on Twitter at uh, D Reuter Fed S O C. That's Dean Reuter Fed S O C. Dean, uh, fascinating stuff this morning. Appreciate you joining us. Hope we can talk about it again sometime soon. Really good stuff. Would love to. Great to be on with you, Gary. Would love to. Great to be on.